YouTube, good morning. Good morning. So in this video, this is what's happening. This, uh, I'm picking up a trailer, but the trailer drop extremely low. Now, I have some problems, and the problems is are all on me. So this is it. I have a seven o'clock delivery. I wake up, I'm, oh, I'm just 45 minutes away, right? I should have waked, I should have gone to that delivery already. So it, 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 it's, it's bad on me, right? So I'm just telling you all the faults and why you should be more accurate and prepared. More than me, right? I'm teaching you to be better. For more videos like this, please subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys if you reach in a situation like this, what you can do to get your trailer up or get the trailer onto the truck, right? If it, if it drop too low. And I can see all the reason why it dropped too low. So I'm just going to walk you through this. Now the trailer, if you can see the truck wheel. Okay guys, so if you can look at the, 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 the truck wheel just now, you can see Hey, how are you? You can see that the trailer drop a bit too low because there's a sink in there So I'm gonna show you guys, well, the shunt driver is here I could actually ask the shunt driver to come and help me up But I want you to show you guys what you can do to get the, this trailer up if, if you're if you're stuck on your own so basically what you do let the hair from out the hair bag from inside the truck what what will happen is the chassis will go down the wheel will be at the same the wheel, the wheel will be at the same exact area but when you let the hair from the hair bag out the chassis will go down so what you can do in that um, situation is you can get if you have a trailer lock you know that thing that you use to lock the bullpen under the trailer you can put it on the chassis sorry i'm distracted on the chassis and then you you, you can put the hair back in the truck and then it, it will rise so what i'm going to do now i'm going to use an iron i find i found the iron i have the trailer lock inside the truck but i'm going to show you you can find stuff around the area if you're looking properly to get to use to raise the trailer and then you wind the leg and then you can get to go under like i said the shunt guy is here, but I'm doing this just for the video because I could just go to the shunt guy and be like, you know, I move my truck and have him lift the trailer up because it's loaded. But I want to do this for the video. As you can see, that's, that's, it, that's the, the shunt guy in the yard here. So I could have, I could have the shunt guy uh, lift the trailer up. So if you can see the chassis, it's, it's right up near, near the truck, right? And the wheel is stuck on, on, the, on the trailer. If you look right there, you see all the stuff that I found that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let let the hair out. Anyway, let's go around here. You can see the hair coming out. As you can see, you see chassis going down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do in this situation, I'm gonna put one of these underneath there. It's either this iron here or this uh, board on the chassis and then wind the leg back up. Okay, so what is gonna happen now? I'm gonna put the hair back, put the hair back into the, the earbags, because you know the earbags on the chassis went down, those are the earbags, right? So I'm gonna put the hair back in the earbags and have the truck lift the trailer up, right? And then I'm gonna go and wind the legs so that I can I can get to go under. So I'm gonna put the hair back in. Yes, you two, try stars. Now uh I was a bit distracted while doing this video. Hopefully you guys understand everything that I was trying to say, right? Now, what is happening here is the chassis hair bag, I put the hair back in, right? So what is happening at the current moment is the chassis is going back up 
and the iron and the board that I put onto the chassis will lift the trailer up above the wheels and if you look closely you will see to the right here the, where the, the trailer is down on onto this uh, trailer uh, truck wheel um, I passed and I went around there and I start to wind the trailer legs up because you know you can wind the legs up because it, the truck chassis is already bringing up the trailer the weight of the trailer off the ground so when you go around your wind wind the trailer up then you will have the space in between so that's what's going on as you guys can see the hair is built up in the trailer bag and you can see where the board and the iron have the the trailer wheels above um, you can see where it rise the wheels up right you go underneath the truck you can see where it rise above the, the, the rise the trailer if you look at the board good the board is broken <laughs> but the that iron there is is good right so what I what I do I wind the legs I so the trailer legs the trailer angle to wind the legs have a, um, a soft mood or a slow mood and a fast. It's slow and fast. It's more like you can put it on this slow and if the trailer is heavy, it will wind that leg up. If it's fast, it, it won't move because it's going to be very stiff. Sometimes it cannot even move the angle because it's out. So let me show you. The angle something you cannot move this one because it, 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 it is out if it's out like this you cannot move it so what you have to do sometimes it is stuck because it's stuck underneath the angle is stuck underneath the, the chassis right or the angle is stuck underneath the trailer and you cannot move it so what i recommend you to do is use something and knock this in like your foot you can go ahead and knock it in and then the angle will move, get to, get to move because it's on the slow move, right? You can turn it at that point and move it. And then you can get to wind the trailer up. I'm, I, I know I'm all over the place, but I'm gonna explain more because I'm, I'm actually running late and I'm trying to do the video. But yeah, um, what you can do at this point, the board is underneath here already and the iron, you can, actually reverse with those things there so what is going to happen is going to go onto the fifth wheel you can do it soft or you can do it slow so i'm going to reverse at this point okay so this is it what's happening right now is i am going back into the truck to slowly reverse the truck under the trailer right and at this point like i said the board and the iron is on the chassis so i'm going to reverse slowly and it's going to slide the trailer up onto the fifth wheel and that's it Okay guys, so we, we get under the trailer. So now you understand what we hope you understand, but I'm gonna explain it. Don't go anywhere, I'm gonna explain it more. It's just that I'm kind of doing so much at once. Now, these are the, the board and the iron that I use to raise the trailer up after putting it down onto the chassis, right? Or the chassis lower after this airbag. After I let the airbag out the truck, it go down. So the chassis automatically will, will go down. The wheels make slightly move but the wheels are not gonna the wheels may still be onto the trail um stuck to the trailer you cannot reverse with the wheels st um stuck to the trailer as you would damage your tires you know what i mean so you want to stop where the wheels stop and then you want to do this method that i told you because automatically this iron is going to be under the truck so you put something there like like i said you can use a trailer lock if you have any or you can find a board or a stone sometimes the stone is going to break so you can't really really reliable on the stone, rely on the stone so when you when you put it and the, the ear out you put the, the iron or the board on it you, you raise put the ear back in the ear bag the ear bag will lift the trailer up 
along with those on it. And then you use the slow gear in the leg to wind the leg to a certain feet. As you can see, the leg is off the ground, right? So that's the reason why it drops so low, right? So that's how you get under. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna remove this, these boards and if I found it, I'm gonna put it back where I found it just in case somebody else can get it to use, right? So I'm gonna put it back where I found them and then uh, I'm gonna explain more. I'm gonna explain more to you guys, but yeah. The trailer legs can go up now, right? And I can go on my journey. So what I did, I put I put the red line on and I put the ear in. So the ear is gonna pump the trailer wheels up, the tandem up, and then it's gonna be much easier for me to wind the angle. So that's how we pick up a trailer that dropped very low, because you, you, you can be creative, you know what I mean? And get it up, but like I said, stick for around guys, let me explain like this, more. Please subscribe. <laughs>